In the early 90s, along with the popular influence of gangster rap music, a new wave of youth gangs began to appear all across the country. Gangs really started out here in Seattle. Like the 90s, it started hard out here. The gangs that was here in Seattle in the 90s, it was starting to get made, made up. Like four guys sat together and be like, hey, let's make up this gang, and all their friends joined. But when TRG came in, it was already history. So when you hear that as one of the first Asian gangs to step up to the plate and fought against the racist enemies, so when they joined TRG, it was the new thing in town. It was the new thing, it was a rascal. Probably that one of the first ones joined TRG, he was third leader of the Wild Tees. Um, it was a Crip gang. But his brother, at that time, was one of them that made up the SAG gang at that time. So when he joined, a lot started coming. When the main guys got in, the other followers were like, why the fuck not? So everybody was gray ragging throughout the whole Rainier Avenue. When we was all still young, just learning the whole system. I'm new to it again. I remember joining when I was in Pomona, but I did not experience gang life until I reached it here in Seattle. This is where it all happens. The gangland over here is very different from where I, I just came from. Where I come from is like everybody grew up together, so we made our choices to join TRG. When I came to this city, there's so much gangs. There's like 20, 30 different gangs, all Crips and blood. People was switching gangs like it's okay. I've known guys who joined seven different gangs. When you do that, you bring your new gang into a war. It was hard to just trust anybody. It wasn't, it wasn't the way that we wanted to start out as an instant where this guy named Chris K. He was from a gang called UTB, Uptown Boys. It's a blood gang. Looney, Popcorn's brother, didn't want him in. But I was like, everybody's getting in our hood, man. Let's just get deeper. So when Chris K joined another gang, Young Seattle Blood, we did not know. Went to the pool hall. We see Chris K walked in with his new gang, all red. It was just three of us, and there was like seven, eight of them. Looney dropped his pool stick and said, let's go outside, you're getting jumped out. Right when we went outside, Chris Carey's new gang, each pulled out a gun on us. We only had one, and we took our time pulling it out. We had to take it out of the bottom seat of the back car. We had some screws. These guys were pointing guns at us. I'm like, damn, they can shoot us any time. But Looney was down, he was, he was taking charge. He was like one of the guys that you could learn from. He was leader mentality. He had it in him. And he was proud to learn a lot from him. He pulled out the thing, threw it towards me, like, point this back at them. I'm going to beat this motherfucker's ass in front of all these guns. He did. He ran up to Chris K to start fighting. He said, you're getting jumped out. But the heart that Looney had is amazing. He fought this guy one-on-one -on -one until he was jumped out personally. That time, we was new. We was like the first five people. So he was making us look like champions, like you don't betray us because we'll kick your ass in front of seven guns. <laughs>